Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, I just wanted to go over list tile one more time and just go in, into a little more detail. This is going to be a pretty quick video. So I got a question about how do you get the list tiles and make them interactable? Okay, so if we remember what we learned in Flutter, we can make something interactable by two ways, right? Number one, it has to have the proper the property of being interactable. Or number two, you have to make it a child widget of something that is interactable, right? So um, if you want an icon to be interactable, the icon itself is not does not have any properties that you can interact with it. But it has icon button is the widget that you use as a parent widget, and then you put the icon underneath the parent widget. So the fact that it has icon button, you can interact with it, right? So that's one way. But in list tile, it's just the property in and of itself because there is no, this is a previous video, list builder, the stuff in tiles, the stuff in the tiles gets stuck into the list view when you make a builder. So I'm just going to go over this widget right here. Um, so if t.children is empty, the list, th this is what I'm going to focus on, the list tile. So it has the properties here. And we have properties. I honestly don't know what many of these things mean. Enabled, if you say false, then it's going to be not enabled. Dense is three line. I'm not exactly sure about those. But the things that I want to um, look at is it has properties right here built into the system on long press. So if you, oh, let's go over some of these. There's subtitle, leading, trailing, and title. Okay, so if you click on them, you'll have leading, the subtitle, the title is right here, Google, the subtitle is right underneath it, trailing is off to the side, leading, what else do I have? Yeah, that's about it. Selected, if we put false, then you can't, it's, nothing's going to be selected, okay? So, You don't want to have selected for everything because then everything kind of lights up right there, right? So um, long press, keep it pressed, and then it activates the long press, a short tap. Okay, just one left click, it's a tap, long click, it's a long press. Okay, so that's how we interact with these, the list tile if we wanted to, and that applies to all of the list tiles that don't have children, you can go down several layers and they don't have children. But since I put this set as, I didn't put these as variables, they were just hard coded text. That's what we're seeing right inside here. Okay. So I, I think that was a really good question because we're going to, we have to remind ourselves constantly, how do we interact with these things? And we just remember, if it doesn't have a property, then it must have a parent widget that has the property with which you can interact with it. If it doesn't have either of those, I haven't gotten there, but I'm sure you can do something. Oh, there is a way you can do it. That's a little bit more advanced though, but that there's a way to interact with them, make your own, customize them in the future. Okay, thanks.